So for today, we asked you to complete the Gizmo Mouse Genetics Lab that dealt with looking at what happens when you cross different organisms for one specific trait. And so we've been talking about this and working through Punnett squares in class, and we want you to be able to understand why you get the results that you do in Punnett squares and in real life situations. And so a quick review or warm up um, some information that they gave you is that heredity is the passage of genetic information from parents to offspring. Gregor Mendel is this famous scientist that we talked about at the beginning of the unit, and he studied his pea plants and realized there must be what he called factors that are getting passed on from the parents to the offspring that got produced. He didn't know what these factors were, but as time went on, we in science realized that that was the genetic material or our DNA or what we call genes that are responsible for the traits that we see in an individual. And so our traits are inherited. They're passed on from our parents to our offspring. So in this situation, the first thing they asked you to do was to take a look at um, what would happen if you crossed offspring or parents um, and had them produce different offspring. What would the results be? So in number one, they asked you to take, here were your parents to choose from, they asked you to take two black mice and then just breed them to see what their offspring would look like. And so the offspring were found down here. When you clicked that breed box, these mice started to pop up and they were all black. The appearance or how they look, remember, is called an organism's phenotype. And so it's their physical characteristic, how somebody would see them. Um, number two said clear everything out. And then it said drag two white mice. So if we were to take this parent mouse and put it in at the top and then another one, and when you bred them, you'll notice the um, same kind of results from up above. When you have two black parents, they produce black offspring. When you have two white mice, they produce white offspring. So all of the offspring were white. So number three says, do you think the um, mouse offspring will always look like their parents? Well, from what we've seen so far, yes, but that's not always the case. Um, if the parents are pure, like in Mendel's results, where they only have one kind of allele, meaning they're both the same type of allele, if they're pure, then yes, the offspring will look the same. But if the parents are hybrid, meaning they have one dominant allele and one recessive allele, we don't know which one will get passed down, and then we might to see might see some differences. And so, in part A of this activity, it says what patterns are shown by the offspring's traits. So in this situation, it says predict what you think the offspring of a black mouse and a white mouse would look like. So everyone probably had different predictions, um, but then it asked you to click the or click and drag those parents over. So you have a black mouse and a white mouse, and when you hit breed, here's your offspring. You'll notice that all of the offspring. Um, were black. The phenotype, the physical appearance, is black. So then they asked you to take two of these offspring and put them in the holding cages. And so you can't see them, but if you remember down below there was a holding cage, so you could take any two um, offspring, then click the clear button, and then drag those offspring to be the parents. So now you have two parents that are hybrid, and then it said click breed again. What did you notice about the offspring in this generation? Not all of them were black. A couple of them ended up being white. So again, this is similar to what Mendel saw in his experiments. Um, some of these phenotypes that he was seeing now reappeared in the second generation of offspring. And so if we continue on with activity A, it says now hit the statistics button. They asked you to take these two hybrid parents and continue to breed them until a hundred offspring were produced. They asked you to keep track of how many of them were black and how many of them were white. Well, we all might have gotten slightly different data, but I took a screenshot of what I ended up getting. In my data, 71 of the mice in the offspring ended up being black and 29 out of the 100 were white. If I think about this in terms of percentages, it's pretty close to three-fourths being black and one-fourth being 
white. Everyone should have got somewhere close to this. And so number five says, explore. Try other combinations of mouse parents. Write the results of each experiment in your notes. When you have finished, answer the following questions. Note you can refer to parents as pure black, meaning they have two of the same alleles. Pure white, they have two of the same alleles for white color, or hybrid, meaning they have an allele for the black color and the allele for the white color. So question A, which parent combinations only yield white offspring? If you have two pure white parents, as we saw in the beginning of this lab, which parent combinations yielded only black? Again, you had to have two pure um, mice, so two black parents. Letter C says, which parent combinations yield a mixture? That's when you have hybrid parents. Hybrid, remember, means you have one dominant allele and one recessive allele, so you have one of each, and then you don't know which one is gonna get passed down, so you have a few different combinations that could result. So now in part B, we're taking it a step further. It says inherited traits are encoded on a molecule known as DNA. We already know that. Genes are segments of DNA that control a particular trait. Most genes have several different versions or alleles, and the genotype are the gene combinations, the letters, the alleles that make up an organism's gene combinations. So in step number one, it asks you to observe and turn on the genotypes for these different parents that you're asked to breed with. It says click the button that says show genotype and then move your cursor over the mice to see what they are. Question A says, what's the genotype of the black parent? It looks like they're using the letter F for this experiment, maybe for fur color. Um, and so if a black parent has the black color fur, they're gonna be big F, big F. Um, the white colored parent is gonna be little F, little F. And remember, we talked about in class, if an allele is written with a capital letter, it means it's dominant or stronger. If an allele is written with a lowercase letter, it means it's weaker. So the thing they have in common with one another is that they both have two of the same alleles, which means they're homozygous. Remember, the root homo means the same. So it asks you to click on breeding them. You're gonna take a pure black parent and a pure white parent, and when you breed them, it produces offspring that are hybrid. They have the genotype big F, little f. That means you have one of each allele, so heterozygous, hetero means different. You have different alleles, one dominant and one recessive. So now, it says in um, step two to analyze your information. 2A says which allele is dominant and which fur color does it produce? Well, as I stated earlier, the dominant allele is written with the capital letter, so the black fur color is dominant, and the one that's written with a lowercase letter is recessive. So for B, the little f represents the white fur color. Number three says to predict, um, and figure out what might happen. Place two hybrid offspring in the holding cages. So we would actually take two of these offspring and click and drag them down to where those holding cages were, clear everything out, and then move those offspring to now have them be parents. It says, which alleles could the offspring inherit from parent one? We don't know. It could be the dominant one or the recessive one. It's a 50-50 chance of having the parents pass them down. Same goes for parent two. Both of these parents are hybrid, so we don't know which um, allele they're gonna be passing to their offspring. So if both parents pass on their dominant alleles, an offspring could be homozygous, dominant, big F, big F. They could be hybrid if they got one um, dominant from one parent and a recessive from another parent, or they could get both recessive alleles and be homozygous recessive. And so in the experiment, it asked you to breed these several times and look at the genotypes of the offspring. Did you find all of the predicted genotypes? You should have said yes. They should have all appeared, but there was one genotype that was more common, and that was the hybrid individual. Okay, so the last part of this activity, part C, asked you to think about how scientists predict what the gene combinations or genotypes are going to be for offspring. They predict 
predict what's going to be produced by using the Punnett square, as we used in class. Remember, this only shows you the probability or likelihood of something happening. It's not what's actually going to happen. And so in the Punnett square you had to fill out, um, they asked you to look at crossing a homozygous dominant individual with a homozygous recessive individual. And when you fill that out, all of the offspring end up being big F, little f. So what percent of the offspring are going to have black fur? All of them. What percent are going to have white fur? The only way they're going to be white is if they have two little f's over here and none of them have that. So here's the predicted results we got. Now they're going to ask us to actually breed these two parents and see what we get. And so when we model this, it will show us what all of these different um, situations end up looking like. So in step number three, it says use Punnett scores below to model each parent combination that was talked about earlier. Um, before we had a homozygous dominant and homozygous recessive. Now this shows you two hybrid parents. Anytime you have two hybrid individuals, the predicted outcome is always having three-fourths of them with the dominant um, trait or, or phenotype and 25% or a quarter of them having the recessive phenotype. If one parent is hybrid and the other one is homozygous recessive, you end up getting a 50-50 predicted outcome. And so what they wanted you to do is to predict what these outcomes were and then actually perform them using the experimental setup that we had. So they asked you to sh turn on the statistics button and show the approximate percentages. So they wanted you to take these gene combinations, two parents that were hybrid, and have these two hybrid parents produce a hundred offspring, or 500, excuse me, offspring. When we did that, it kept track of the percentages of how many ended up being each color. In this situation, 73% ended up being black and 27% ended up being white. Well, that's pretty darn close to what we predicted them to be, 75% or three-fourths and 25%. Remember, we're only off by a couple percentages. For the other um, situation, we had a hybrid mouse uh, cross with a homozygous recessive mouse. So here's our hybrid mouse. Here's our homozygous recessive mouse. When we let these two mice breed and produce 500 offspring, here's the outcome we got. 51% uh, ended up being black and 49% being white. When we did the Punnett square, we predicted it would be about 50-50. We're only off by a percentage for each one. That's pretty incredible. What this goes to show you is that all of those experiments that Mendel did, he was using this method to predict the outcome. And for the most part, he saw that in his experiments in his garden. And so in terms of drawing conclusions, how well did this Punnett squares predict the offspring percentages? They're very, very close to one another. So how could we summarize this? The Punnett squares that we use and we have been using in class are used to predict what will happen and show the probability or likelihood of something occurring. It doesn't always mean that that's what's going to result, but the chances are pretty good. If I go back to this picture right here, um, our data shows that half of them are gonna be black and half of them are gonna be white. But in this particular situation, just one time when I clicked breed, four out of the five ended up being white. Well, maybe the next time they had offspring, maybe it was the opposite and they flipped. And so you have to do several different generations and several um, breeding setups in order to get these outcomes um, to see what the, the results end up being. And so heredity is a passage of genetic information from parents to offspring. And in mice, each parent have two alleles. Each parent passes one of its alleles to the offspring, so the offspring ends up with two alleles for each trait, one inherited from the mom and one inherited from the dad. If one or both of those alleles is dominant, then the offspring will always display or show the dominant trait in their phenotype. If the alleles are recessive, the offspring will display the recessive trait in their phenotype. All right, thanks guys.